Gaffo, we're straight back to it. Port Vale, visit us on the weekend. What are your general thoughts heading into that one? Obviously, team in form. Um, good manager. The lad, them, you know, he's done a great job there at the minute. And uh, you know, if we ain't on our game, we won't be in the game. So we've got to make sure we are, unless we'll stick together now and push forward and try and get the result. Yeah, and obviously you mentioned there, stick together. I think what's clear is the morale in the squad has always been, you know, especially this season, sort of at an all-time high. How important is it for the lads to stick together over these next few games? Uh, listen, it, it don't even come into it. You know, we've, you know, Saturday was a one-off since we've been here. Two games before that, we should have got things for, but we didn't. Listen, the boys and that, there's enough to know what we've got to do, and let's hope we put it right Saturday. And obviously... It was good to see Joel Lynch get 90 minutes on Saturday. It was good to see David coming back. And I suppose what we've spoke about so many times before, it's not about them coming back. It's about making sure they are coming back. And you look at our injury list and who we've still got to come back. You know, there's plenty more that you know the side can give. I suppose. Yeah, well, that's, that's what I keep saying to you. All. You know, it's been difficult sometimes to pick a side, but hey ho, we got to get on with it. That's what you're in a job for. And sometimes you you have to pick a side out which you know on paper looks very very strong but you know that some of the lads are carrying things but that's my job I know that and you know let, let, let's make sure that when we do send a side out one thing you'd be guaranteed is that they're gonna have a go for you yeah more brilliant away support at the weekend and I'm sure there'll be even more cheering us on at home on Saturday as well let's hope so like I say sometimes you learn more about people you know we've lost three games of football you know let, let's not lose track of it. it it's the same way as when I kept telling people don't get carried away when we're winning mm because I know that there's a lot more to come and there's a lot more people that have got to come back in contention to get a place. Um, but listen, people have got their own judgments of it. I know what's going around and the lads know what's going about. So let's make sure that supporters and everybody, one of us, stick together and push through it. Yeah, I suppose on a similar but slightly separate note, fans falling this evening, a chance for, you know, we we'll hope to see as many of them as can and oh, yes. try and get as many questions through oh, to you yes. as possible. Yes, let's see the ones that come in and have a chat and do what they've got to do. As I say, it's a very open forum as far as I'm concerned. I don't care what people ask me, providing they don't mind the answers. <laughs> cheers, Gaffer. Thank you. Quizzy, cheers for joining us. It's Port Vale at the weekend. How is everyone heading into that one? Looking forward to it. Everybody's pumped. You know, we've had a good week of training under our belt now and we're ready for the game now. You know, we're trying to get back on the horse and, and get some points and, and head up the table. So um, it's a perfect game for us to react at home in front of our fans and hopefully they'll get behind us as they always do and we'll be, uh, we'll be well up for it. Yeah, as the gaffer said there, it's, it, I suppose for a lot of teams it would be easy to get sort of maybe downbeat after three defeats, but the morale here seems to be really high and, you know, everyone as a collective knows what they've got to do to help push on and, you know, get back to winning ways. Absolutely. It's always a goal, you know. If you do lose a game, is to try and react as, as quickly and as well as you can, learn from what went wrong and uh, put it together on a training pitch, learn from your mistakes and obviously put together a performance that shows we're ready to bounce back and we're still hungry and, you know, we, we've got that bit between our teeth and that's exactly how we feel. And I suppose... On a personal note, I remember you saying to me in the first interview you had with the club, the first thing you want to do is make an impression on the gaffer, you want to score goals and you get in the team. You're certainly doing that at the moment, you know, I think it's six goals so far, correct me if I'm wrong, but you know, club's top goal scorer. You must be pleased personally with how you've sort of kicked on this season. Yeah, I know I've still got more to give to the team, you know, and um, that's my aim now, you know, to kick on and, and, and produce more performances that help get the team across the line and, and obviously three points in the in the back pocket so um, that's the plan from now on obviously I've got my, my goals under my belt and I'm up and running and whatever else but now it's important you know more than ever to, to, to turn those goals and performances out that get us the three points really you know obviously Port Vale visitors at the weekend you know there's been a bit of a myth like floating around that perhaps we play better against the bigger teams but I suppose as a player you don't really approach the game any different knowing that Port Vale is second in the league Obviously, it's going to be a good game. They're, they're not there for no reason. They've obviously got some good results. And uh, as of we throughout our campaign so far, so we just need to put in a good performance and the game will be what it is. We'll be, we'll be ready, we'll be hungry and uh, looking forward to it. And obviously, plenty of positives. Back at home, back in front of a big crowd. You know, hopefully they'll be cheering us on as they have done all season. Absolutely. They're very important for us. You know, our home crowd is, is uh, what we thrive off of and it's just given us some good boosts, you know, when we've been down and, you know, we've had 10 men at home. We've been obviously losing at home and whatever else. So it's always spurred us on to sort of recover and, and go again and, and push on, really. So uh, we're really grateful for the home support and uh, they'll be there on Saturday. No Dutch here on the sun. Yeah, and I suppose it's even more important now as, you know, it's talked about quite a lot in football, the busy Christmas period, you know, we're not quite there yet, but we're heading into it. We're going to have a few Tuesday games, you know, we've got FA Cup next weekend and everything. How important is it that the fans are the behind the players and, you know, give them that extra boost? 
Yeah, of course, it's that festive period, like you said, packed with fixtures. Everybody excited to come and watch a game and the players themselves, you know, pumped up, you know, uh, and, and really looking forward to that period, you know. Everybody likes playing games back to back is, is what we thrive off. And as long as we're out there producing performances and getting results, obviously that makes it more enjoyable. Cheers, Cozy. No problem.